Alright guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel and today what we're going to go over is Bell Sprout Community Day that has been announced for April. Now obviously we have had Raid Day in April which was Mega Heracross. Not only that we do have the, we had the Comday Classic recently which is Bagon. So we have had a lot of events this month including this Community Day. So this Community Day is happening on Saturday, April 20th from 2pm till 5pm so the are keeping the two till five. It seems like that's where they're going with moving forward, which is actually an okay time, because then they can add the raid straight afterwards, meaning that it can go from five till 10, giving people that have finished work time to do the community day as well. Um, once again, sorry, I am trying to learn where the camera is and to look straight at it. It's just really weird for me. So I do apologize if my eyes look everywhere because I've got to look here for me in info and I've got to look here for the camera. So I do apologize. Um, the featured Pokemon is going to be Bellsprout um, with the featured attack of Magical Leaf. This is going to have 10 power for trainer battles and then 16 power for gyms. This is one of the first we've had with a fast attack recently, so that's really cool. Um, do like that and hopefully it will give even better things for Victory Bell in PvP. Shadow Victory Bell is already highly used from what I've come up against anyway. Um, but it hasn't been in videos, but it's been outside of videos. I've versed it quite a lot. So hopefully, this is going to have even more power to it, meaning better Pokemon for PvP. Now, like normal, there is a £1 slash $1 ticket, depending on where you are in the world. Um, this will get you encounters with Bellsprout, um, Weeping Bell, and Victory Bell. Obviously, Victory Bell will know the fast move on Magical Leaf, so it is always a good thing to do. $1 isn't too bad. Um, the community day stuff is usually okay price so because you're getting all the Pokemon encounters you're getting the one incense from the special research and you're also getting different things during the day as well so always a good thing to do it's more the five dollar ones that are a bit of a pain now moving on to the event bonuses for this one and there's a big one three times stardust for catching pokemon this is where your gotcha or pokeball plus plus with ultra ball mode is going to come in handy not only for sorry my microphone just dropped a little bit not only for just um this event if you have a modded one i'm not like i i don't have one but if you have a modded one that does take advantage of its perks which is throwing ultra balls automatically you are going to be, have so much stardust at the end of this so I do recommend having um, a star piece on at most times maybe try and use a Dialga Raw of Time to keep it there for longer um, you are also going to have 2 times catch candy for Pokemon 2 times chance of getting an XL candy lower modules and incense will be 3 hours like normal 5 snapshots like normal get you a encounter with Bellsprout that can be shiny or cannot be shiny you'll have 2 special trades during the day one that's normal special trade and one that is from this uh, community day and trades will cost 50% less stardust which is always a good one so if you are looking at trading some uh, legendaries over definitely do it at this time or if you want to try and get that lucky shiny always a good thing to do as well and not only that like I said from 5 till 10 there will be the bonus raid hours for Weeping Bell for, defe for defeating Weeping Bell you'll have Bell Sprout appear around gyms for 30 minutes with the same encounter rate in same shiny rate so it's this is really good and this bonus coming into play for mega heracross was huge because obviously when you do a raid you get a 10 minute bug attraction to that gym and it's been really cool i haven't had a shiny from it yet but i am trying to get a shiny beedrill because i am missing that mega for our collection now on this day you will have field research around Bellsprout as well so definitely try and get them done that is a good way to get Stardust, Great Balls, Pokeballs, Ultra Balls and also more encounters with Bellsprout. Um, for when you go into Pokestops during the day you will see a lot of showcases obviously you do you are limited to a set amount so once you get into your Pokestops definitely keep going back to change the Pokemon to get first or second just to get them better rewards. We're not going to go over the community day bundles because they're normal. There is going to be some new stickers added as it is a com day. If you are a sticker collector, these will be good for you. And that is it for the community day. Just give me two seconds and I'll be back with a Pokemon overview as well.
Alright guys, and we are back with a Victory Bell overview. I am looking at the Shadow one just because this is more relevant in PvP. And the stats aren't different on this webpage, so just remember you do get 20% attack up and 20% defense down from having a Shadow. Um, so, this Pokemon is going to be a Grass and Poison type with a max CP of 2748. With an attack stat of 207, a defense of 135, and a HP or stamina of 190. Moving into the move pool, you've got fast attacks currently as Razor Leaf and Acid, with charge moves as Sludge Bomb, Solar Beam, Leaf Blade, Acid Spray, Leaf Tornado, and Frustration. Now remember, with this comm day, it is going to get Magical Leaf as a fast move, so hopefully that will be better moving forward. This Pokemon does have a lot of weaknesses, but also quite a lot of resistances as well. So its weakness is against Fire, Flying, Ice and Psychic. None of them double weaknesses, so that's good. And then you take decreased damage from Water, Fighting, Fairy, Electric and double resists Grass. So it's not a bad Pokemon, especially with that Fairy. I've come up against so many Togekiss um, that just wrecked my team in PvP, so I do need to find a counter for them. Um, obviously, being a poison type, this is a good one. However, you do already have a good grass and poison type in Venusaur. So we'll have to see and do a bit of testing on PvP to see which one's better, Victory Belt or Venusaur, and see which one will help us most. Now, there's not, there will be raids during like the time, but let's go to Weeping Bell because this is probably the best one for it. So. Weeping Bell in normal raids, that isn't where Ibushi is looking at 921 CP for 100% and then 1151 CP for 100% weather boosted. That is for people that are going to be doing the 4 star raids after the comm day. It all depends on if you look into doing that or you'd rather do like Mega Heracross, things like that during the day. So always a, a toss up on what Pokemon you want to go get. Remember Tapu Bulu is still in raids as well. Um, you've got Mega Heracross and today as it was a weekend you had Shadow Entei as well so there's a lot of good Pokemon around at the minute especially with Mega Heracross just coming out definitely get some of them in um, but yes other than that that is it guys um, thank you for watching like I said sorry if the camera's a bit funny I am just trying to get it right in the setup so please let me know what you think I should do down below in the comments um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll speak to you all in the next one.